Hi everyone, I'm Sunju. Today I'm going to show you how I made this copycat Bagu duck tote bag from scratch using recycled cotton fabric. This DIY tote bag cost me less than $10 to make and I'm really excited to share steps with you. Instead of buying a brand new Bagu duck tote bag for over $30, I want to challenge myself with this tote bag tutorial. This tote bag is also perfect for back to school because you can carry laptop, phone, and wallet and any other essential items needed for the day. If you have never sewn before, this tote bag tutorial is perfect for a beginner sewing project for you to start with. I created an easy to follow tote bag pattern and detail measurement on my website. Check out the link in the description below. And of course, if you enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started! To make a custom tote bag body, fold a piece and canvas material in half and cut 16 inches by 15 inches with a 11 inch by 2.5 inch flat bottom folded center tab. Two pocket pieces that are 8 inches by 7 inches. Two handle strap pieces that are 3.5 inch by 11 inch. Two facing pieces that are 2 1 quarter inch by 16 inches. A shoulder strap piece that is 2.5 inch by 41 inches. Two shoulder strap closures. One is 2.5 inch by 4 inches and the other is 1.5 inch by 4 inches. Fold the back body piece in half with the right sides facing each other. Sew the side seams and then finish with zigzag stitching. Open the flat bottom corners, sew it shut, and then finish with zigzag stitching. Double fold the top side of the inside pocket. Close the folded line of the pocket with edge top stitch. Sew together the inside pocket pieces with the right sides facing each other and finish with zigzag stitch. For both handle straps, fold quarter inch on the sides and then fold again in half. Edge top stitch on both sides. For the shoulder strap, fold quarter inch on the sides and then fold again in half. Edge top stitch along both sides. For the looped shoulder strap closure, fold quarter inch on both sides and then fold again in half. Edge top stitch along both sides. For the short shoulder strap closure, fold quarter inch on both sides and then fold in half lengthwise. Edge top stitch all the way around this piece. For a tote bag with snap buttons, it's best to measure and mark all of the snap button placements first. Next, make all of the snap button holes. Then. Do all of the caps and sockets and finish with all of the posts and studs. It is easier to do them in order rather than changing the heavy duty snap button plier fittings for every task.
for a tote bag with an adjustable shoulder strap, put a slide buckle and rectangle ring on the shoulder strap. Fold over the end of the shoulder strap about 1 inch to create a loop bag and sew edge top stitch to lock in the adjustable slide buckle. Next, slide the looped shoulder strap closure over the rectangle ring and edge top stitch to secure the rectangle ring. Lay the short shoulder strap closure on top of the shoulder strap and edge top stitch. Use the center point to position the pocket and use the pocket as a guide to place the handle. Sew edge top stitch. Place both ends of the shoulder strap matching to the side seam of the bag and edge top stitch. Place the facings with the right sides together and sew both sides. Slide the facing over the bag and sew the bag opening all the way round. Sandwich the pocket piece in between the facing. Finish edge top stitch around the bottom of the facing and admire your finished product. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tote bag tutorial and inspired to make your own functional tote bag. And don't forget to use recycled cotton canvas fabric. Please share your duck tote bag with me at Instagram hashtag MakeWithFashionWonder. Do you have a brilliant sewing project ideas that you would love me to try next? Share your fun sewing project with me in the comment below. I would love to hear your thoughts. See you in the next tutorial. Bye!